Hey everyone, this is Fire TV Richie, and I'm coming to you live from FireTVRichie.com and my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. If you're on YouTube and you're watching this, just uh, right, under, right below this video, there's a little subscribe button. Click on it, and you will get updates on uh, my latest videos. Uh, you might not get all of, you you will not get all of them. If you want all of them, next to the subscribe button, you see a little bell. Click on that bell and that will give you a notification in your email every time I put a new video out. Okay, uh, anyway, this video is going to be an informational video. Uh, hopefully you'll like it. I know a lot of, a lot of people will love it. Um, I know I use this technique and use this uh, option on my device to make it a whole lot more user-friendly and uh, just less annoying, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Okay, so a lot of people are having issues uh, with, you know, a lot of their good links are uh, when they click on them. Say you're in TV shows or you're over here in movies and you uh, click on the movie or the TV show that you want to watch and it will ask for you to go to some uh, website to authorize that link to watch the movie or the TV show. And uh, you go to that website, and it'll say something like your computer, your uh, device is now got a virus or something like that. It's lying most of the time. It probably doesn't. But if you click on their little thing where it says scan for viruses or delete the virus or whatever, if you click on that, chances are it might be putting some kind of virus on your phone. <laughs> so do not click on that. Um, I haven't seen that in a while, but I'm having people say that, I've had some people say that they do, so I don't know why I don't, but uh, some people are having it, so um, this will fix this. It will get rid of all links that have what it's called CAPTCHA, is what it's called, and uh, it's gonna. I'm going to show you how to change Exodus, Salts, and Zen to autoplay. Without that means you don't even have to find the link. It will just autoplay the uh, highest quality, and it gets rid of all the op uh, the authorization links. So this is the most popular, and I'm going to do Exodus first. That way, if you just use Exodus, you can just stop the video after that. Uh, on your main menu, you're going to want to go to the left or the right, whichever way uh, you want to go, and just stop where it says Apps. Underneath in the New. You're going to want to click on Video Add-ons, and you're going to want to find Exodus, and you're going to do a long press on Exodus, or click the menu button. What a long press is, is when you hold down the big circle button on your remote, you just hold it down for a couple seconds until this window pops up. That's called a long press. Another way you can do it is to click the hamburger button, which is also called the menu button it is directly to the right of your home button on your remote uh, either way you want to do it is your device <laughs> you can you got your own way to do it you know how to do it so uh, anyway when you get here first of all if if any of these add-ons are not working uh, you can click on information and click on update and where it says the version you just select the version and give it a couple seconds and you'll say that it's update. So if Exodus says it for a while, you can most likely just go and update it. I just updated a second ago, so I'm not even sure if it's gonna update right now, but uh, you'll usually see it. There you go right there, it says Exodus add-on updated. So back to what we're doing, long press or use the menu or the hamburger button and then click on settings very first page that pops up uh, it should say general to the left and highlighted if it's not you just want to scroll up to general and uh, make sure that general is highlighted and over here the second option it says providers timeout I've already got mine set to 10 yours is probably set between 30 and 50 go ahead and move it all the way down to 10 if you can't figure out how to do it that's because you actually need to click with your select button on providers timeout and then use your directional button to the left or to the right. Okay, and you don't have to put it on 10 seconds. If you don't, if you don't want to put it on 10, 10 seconds, you don't. But what this is, the providers, uh, when you click on the show or the movie you want to watch, 
you'll see it count down. Usually it's 30 seconds. It takes 30 seconds and it's drawing in all these providers. Uh, you turn it down to 10 seconds and it'll just pull up 10 seconds of providers. <laughs> so, and that's usually pretty good. That's usually long enough to uh, get the best links. All right, so for this page, everything's done. Uh, back where it says general, uh, scroll to the left where it says general and then go down to click on playback. And you see where it says default action right here. Mine's already set to autoplay. Yours is probably going to be set to directory or dialog. You're going to want to select or you're going to want to change it to autoplay. Okay, and then uh, make sure where it says max quality. Make sure that's on 4K. Right underneath there, two more spaces, it's going to say hoster with capche. If yours is highlighted over here, the circle, if there's a blue, there's some blue inside the circle, you're going to want to remove that by clicking on that option. And once that's gone, you are all set. Another thing is, if you know that there's a particular link that comes up in all your movies and all your TV shows that just is not good quality or it's always buffering or just something's always going wrong with it, you can find that inside of Providers over here on the left again, right underneath Playback, Providers. And you can scroll through here until you find it, say Movies Free or whatever, and you just click on it. And as long as it is no longer highlighted inside that circle, that option will never come up inside of Exodus again. Okay, so... A lot of people make the mistake of saying, all right, well, I'm done right now. And they click the back button and they go test it out and they still get those CAPTCHA uh, links which wants you to authorize it or it doesn't autoplay and they're like, well, I did everything that was in the video and it's not working. That's because over here on the right side, if you're using anything uh, Kodi 17 or something, it's going to say OK, cancel, and default. So you're going to want to click OK. When you click OK, it makes all the changes. All right, so if you just use Exodus, you're good to go. It should work just fine now. I'm going to go ahead and just do a uh, quick little uh, test on it real quick. And for some reason on this device, it still doesn't, it still goes a little longer than 10 seconds. I don't know why. Uh, but on your device, it should work just fine. I'm going to click on most popular and then I'm going to go to Flash. That's one of my favorite shows. You can tell I watch it. <laughs> I'm all caught up on it. And then let's see. I'll just click on 322. And it should pop up and then you see it count down the seconds yours should not go over 10 seconds i've tested it out on several different devices and it works but for some reason this device it doesn't which is a touch screen so i don't know what the difference is but it goes to like 13 seconds on here for some reason 14 15 16 if it does it on yours probably just restart the device but you can see right here it's auto playing. So it auto plays and you do not have to find the link. And uh, there is no authorization. So problem solved. All right. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do. And again, if you're uh, just you just a diehard Exodus user, you can go ahead and stop the video right here. Um, but for those who like a little bit more of a suggestion, they like to use Zen or something like that, uh, go back to apps. I'm going to show you Zen first because Zen is basically the same as Exodus. Go ahead and find Zen. This is Zen right here. If you do not like this uh, setup the way that this list is, this is thumbnails. You can click uh, before you before you get that menu button up. I'm sorry. 
If you don't like this setup, you can press the uh, the left directional button on your remote. And over here on the left hand side, a little window is going to slide out. And the first or second option is going to say view. You can click on view and you can change it to a list. But uh, for this video, I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and long press or use the hamburger button. Again, if you need to do an update, you click information, update, choose the version, and it will auto update. Uh, but you don't need to do that every time. Just if the add-on isn't working. So, you go ahead and click on settings. Uh, first page is general. If it's not general, go ahead and uh, find the uh, where it says providers timeout. Change that to 10 seconds. And then go to playback. Again, it's going to be on directory or dialog. You're going to want to change that to autoplay. Max quality, if it's not on 4K, change it to 4K. And yours is most likely right here where it says hosters of CAPTCHA. It's going to be highlighted just like mine is right now. Go ahead and click on it and get that highlight, get, uh, make it, turn that highlight off. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you are done right here. And again, just like Exodus over here on your right hand side, you're going to want to click OK. So that's Zen. Zen is working now. Salt is the one that's a little bit more difficult. Salt's already, uh, most likely yours is set up like mine is. They don't, uh, they don't have the CAPTCHA. So, uh, but you're going to want to change it to, you know what? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hold, uh, do the long press or hold the hamburger, or click the hamburger button from the menu button. Um, but they already have it set up to where there is no authorization links. But you're going to want to change the, uh, the timeout, the uh, quality, and um, turn it to autoplay. Okay, so on uh, salt, you're going to want to go down to source, uh, source management. And at the top, it says autoplay sources. Yours should not be on, so go ahead and click on it and make it highlighted. Uh, scraper timeout right here. If you bring it all the way down to zero, there's not going to be a limit, and it's going to pull up every single link it can find. So make sure it's above zero. My suggestion is to go to about, oops, it's a little harder on my device because I'm using my finger. <laughs> but uh, you're going to want to change that to, well, shoot, I can't really get it. I'm going to just gonna keep it on 14, but I would say to put it at at least 8 or even up to 10. Um, and then again, right here where it says show CF site protection CAPTCHA. If it is highlighted right there, right over here in that circle, you're going to want to go ahead and click and turn it off. But most likely yours is not going to be highlighted. And then right over here on the right hand side, make sure you click OK. There you go. And you are all set up. Uh, I would go ahead and restart your device, uh, but I mean, you really probably don't need it. Your settings probably have taken, uh, have, have changed, and uh, and you're ready to stream. But if it doesn't work right away, just restart your device, go back into the settings just like you did before, and uh, make sure that those settings are still set. If it still doesn't work, it's just I don't really know how to fix it. It's just a an error. Hopefully it will fix itself within a couple of days, but uh, you should be set up and ready to go and stream and not have to choose a link and it'll choose the uh, highest quality for you. Set it to 4K and uh, I hope this helps you a whole bunch. Anyway, God bless, take care, have a great Memorial's Day and uh, like I said before, please subscribe, share with your friends, your family, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want every video come to your inbox, click on the bell. All right, take care. God bless.